regular at the motocross scene. As we get set for this one, Lee, inside by Jay Marmot. He isn't that confident, he said, but I've seen him pull some good starts, especially from those inside lines. Well, when the chips are down, you can count on Jay Marmot stepping up to the plate. Quad challenge. We've got four races, six laps the duration, five minutes between each one. And this is the first one. This counts for points. Let's see who's going to get to the corner in first place. Craig Anderson tips it in, but it will be... Todd Waters? Well, what's that Todd Waters, I think? Anderson back up the inside, though. He has got this one wet. What has Anderson done over the last two weeks? Oh, stab of a leg. Oh! We've had a... Uh, looks like a KTM rider there trying to pick up who it is. No, uh, number 24. Bo Pesic it is has gone down on the KTM machine. But Craig Anderson will lead the end of the first lap unless we can have Josh Hansen come up the inside. If anyone can make a pass at the end of the loops here, it'll be Josh Hansen. Well, he's looking to that inside line. Anderson just looks over and sees who's right beside him. Will Anderson hold it for the win over the first lap? Now the lock lap. off to the left from Josh Hansen as he uh, goes straight up and takes the line there from Craig Anderson. Now Ando needs to try to somehow try to stay out of the back of Josh Hansen. Anthony here and try to stay in a good position. Yeah, if he tags it back there, he'll be able to run this pace and keep up with him. Mackenzie, though, working in the background. Behind them was Marmont, Jay Marmont. So his start wasn't too bad from the inside. Marmont up the inside, and he oh, was trying to have a bit of a look Moss. there. Jake Moss has gone down in the sand. That's going to relegate him back a couple of positions. Josh Hansen starting to check out just a little bit now. Oh, Billy Mackenzie extremely short on the Kawasaki machine. It still tries to go up the inside of Craig Anderson. Takes it back. Well, Mackenzie is trying everything at the moment to get and make that pass. I tell you, it isn't a big race, but he's going to have to smooth it up. Otherwise, this Super X track will bring him unstuck. No, I hate to say it. Josh Hansen is in a league of his own. Come on, Australia. Let's get up and get him. We've got an Aussie in second place. A Brit back there in third place. Let's take a look at the whole shot now with this race. It was a big dive in up the inside by Anderson, but it was Waters by the looks of thing across that line. Todd Waters by half a bike length, that's for sure. Craig Anderson holding the inside and coming out in first place. Well, there is our second, third, fourth, fifth places coming across the triple, and there is Simmons in sixth. Moss is in seventh after that crash. Now, I believe Billy McKenzie might not be too happy with me for just calling him a Brit. I think he's a Scot, to tell the truth. <laughs> oh, well. That's, these things happen up here in the commentary box. We really don't know what's going on. Hansen still running away with this one. Does a triple up the middle part of the track there. Anderson in second. There is McKenzie. Marlon behind them in a battle between Waters and Simmons brewing as well in the background. Well, can Craig Anderson start to believe here? Can he believe in himself? Lap four of six, just over two laps to go. Marlon needs to try to make up Anderson, a little bit of ground here. Mistake by Anderson. And that was all that McKenzie needed to make the pass. Over jump into that, that uh, turn and runs a little wide. Anderson's just starting in the arm. Marmot up the inside and he makes a pass on Craig Anderson. So Marmot now moves into third as Anderson slowly moves back a few places. He's going to fall into the clutches of Moss now who has moved himself up in behind them. One more lap and the last lap board will come out. Now does Jay Marmot have enough time to mount some kind of a challenge on Billy McKenzie? He really does need to try to get up in the second place, try to keep as many points as he can because Josh Hansen is collecting a bunch. Well there is Moss in behind them now. The championship points we must point out that Moss has a good chance of getting up there in second place in the championship. So the real battle right here will be between Marmont and Moss. And I tell you, Moss is coming hard. Well, Moss currently sits back in fifth place. Craig Anderson in fourth, but it is starting to change out there on the track. Yeah, no, Moss has just made the pass. Just the last half of lap, he has moved up there behind Marmont. So I think it's getting very close as we look at our lead rider final lap right now. And he has a monster lead over everyone else. Massive lead by Josh Hansen as we follow him through. He's on the Monster Energy Pro Circuit, Kawasaki. And he's making this track here at Parramatta look very, very easy. You'll notice in the sand section here, the line just drifts further and further out. Marmont's starting to catch up to the back of Billy McKenzie. Yeah, McKenzie's right there, but he's holding tough. I tell you, I'm impressed. McKenzie, I heard all horror stories about Supercross and McKenzie, but I tell you, it has not turned out that way. What turn to go? Josh Hansen will take the win in the first race. What a terrific victory there for Josh Hansen. Second place, and Billy McKenzie holds on back in third place. Jay Marmon on the city of Rockstar Yamaha bows his head just a little bit. He'll be disappointed with that, but he still has three more to go to try to make amends. They're all points going for the overall tonight.